Previously on our Arizona homestead, we were working in the garden, but unfortunately the camera would not cooperate with the high temperatures. So let's go back and check out what we accomplished that day. Okay, so the camera kept overheating the other day, so we didn't get to show you the final progress we made with the garden. Look at that. That is sweet gold right there for gardeners. That is aged chicken manure and straw. It is just sweet gold. And we have mounded it up like that because I want to do a raised bed. Um, I know a lot of people frame those up with wood, but I just wanted you to do it like natural and loose. So we're gonna level that out and that will be a row there. And as you can see, I took out a whole bunch of the aloe vera, a whole bunch. Yes, I said a whole bunch, I'm in a whole bunch. I took all those out. And um, so we have, a, we have a bunch there, but we still, right over there under that tree, there is a huge, um, more than was under this tree is over there under that tree. So there's not a shortage of aloe vera, trust me, not a shortage. But this is what we started. So we're gonna finish out this row and however far we can, we'll finish out the other rows. The reason why we do this now, normally it's a lot cooler, even during the day this time of the year, but this year has been kind of a weird year. But um, what we normally do is we like to clean the coop at least once a year. Back in, back in, back, 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 back. Okay, so we like to clean the coop in the fall. It's like the first day of fall today. First day of fall, ladies. It's only gonna be 100, it's first day of fall. Rejoice! No, there's nothing in this bag. This is just my bottled water and stuff. I was just gonna go take a break. That's why I have it. Okay, so anyway, do not peck that. Okay, so anyway, we have, I moved the roost over here for right now. So what I could do is come in here and we came in here and just dug out a lot of this um, straw and chicken manure. And we've taken it and put it in the garden. It is fantastic. Morning, morning, ladies. Wow, look, double occupancy back there. Okay, I understand. All right, you're very blessed to have single occupancy. The doubled up back there, girl. Enjoy yeah. it. So anyway. that is what we're doing. We're taking the straw and manure out here and putting it in the garden, and it is going to be fantastic. We'll also top that, so we won't plant directly in it, but we will top it. You'll see. It'll take us a little time to get this going, but it'll happen. All right. Morning, morning, y'all. It is a nice day out here. Nice and cool for us. We're gonna get up to 100 today. Just 100. Not 102, not 103, just 100. And yes, I've got the wagon behind me because it has been a minute since we came out here to take a look at the Mexican fan palms and how they're doing. Because they're doing great. This is approximately three months post a transplant of 15 Mexican fan palms. So let's take a look. It is a little windy, so hopefully the wind noise isn't too much. But as you can see, look at these beauties. Like I said, almost three months post transplant, they look fantastic every single one of them. But there are some dead fronds on them. So what we're gonna do today is, we're gonna go around here and the ones that I can reach with the loppers, we'll take those off. So they really look good because they look fantastic even with them on. So I can't wait to clean them up. Let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at the first one here. Oh yes, very nice. Just like I said, a little cleaning up, a little trimming of some of the dead fronds and this baby will look beautiful. Let's do it. I just put a whole bunch of WD-40 on these because they, woo, they are not opening very easily. So, a little better. Oh, wow. 
are not sharp enough. These uh, definitely need to be sharpened. Okay, there is no way I'm going to be able to get through those fronds. I mean, that was, wow. Okay, here's the one I took off. All right. More ripping than cutting, as you can see. And then you want to cut them as close to the trunk as you can. So I want to do a better job than that. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, a better job than that. So we definitely need to get those sharpened up because they are not the business for right now. Now I see why they say a handsaw. I have a um, handsaw for the garden, but I do not want to be out here trying to handsaw these. So I tell you what we'll do. We'll just walk down each one, take a look, and enjoy the view. All right, number one, quite the beauty. This one's the second one, doing quite well. This one doesn't really have that many dead fronds on it. It's great. Three months after transplant. They look fabulous. Wow. This one I was concerned about for a while. I was really thinking it probably wasn't gonna make it, but it's doing great. Next. Very nice, this one's really spread out. This one's doing great. Not a lot of fronds to uh, prune off this one. Look at that. Beautiful. This breeze feels so nice. So we're getting to the fence where it kind of jogs in a little bit here. This was another one that was uh, touch and go for a while. During this time, can I just let you know that from the first three months of these trees, well, the first month, our water bill doubled, okay? Because we were watering these babies nonstop, trying to keep them going, trying to keep them alive. And, uh, you know, we try to keep these wells as full as possible. So, look at that sky, wow. That is very unusual for us. And I love it. It's unusual for 2020. This is probably the norm for what we should be getting in September. But this year has just been so hot. It's just ridiculous. So we've broken so many records. Oh, that one looks like it hasn't been released. Oh, that one's still tied up for some reason. Hmm. I'll have to mention that to hubby because I thought all of them were released. Oh, and this one as well, I didn't notice. This one is also still tied. See the rope there? You know, I didn't bring anything for that, so we're gonna just leave that and just make a mental note that those two need to be released. Here are the rest. Like I said, all of them are doing fantastic. The one on the very end down here too was really touch and go for a while. The ground's on level, so I have to look down every now and then. <laughs> Make sure I don't trip. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one right there, it had some issues for a while. But like I said, all of them doing beautifully right now.
Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Well, thanks for stopping by the homestead today. I thought we were going to be able to uh, do some pruning on these Mexican fan palms that we transplanted three months ago. But unfortunately, the tool I have, the pruning tool I have is not sharp enough for these babies. So that will be another episode. So until then, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Bye-bye.